clear off your coffee tables because there's a brand new king of the largest Lego set of all time, and it's a colossal beast. The newly announced Lego Coliseum measures 10.5 inches tall, 20.5 inches wide, and 23.5 inches deep, and takes the crown for the largest Lego set of all time with 9,036 pieces. It's aged 18 plus and will retail for $550 in the United States, 499 euro. As I said, this set is a colossal beast. If you love tan Lego pieces, then you're gonna be in for a treat once you unbox and build this bad boy for yourself. Especially if you've been there before, you can appreciate the minor details that this Coliseum captures compared to the actual monument in real life. And if you really want to go all out above and beyond, you could buy two of these Colosseum and combine them to restore this Colosseum to its former glory. Not that I would recommend you do that because the 9,000 pieces that are in the set are going to keep you busy for quite some time. And I said clear off the coffee table because I mean it. This set is incredibly large, but it doesn't take up a lot of space height wise. So you're going to need a large footprint in order to display this akin to what happened with the Lego Millennium Falcon that was the largest Lego set of all time. This would be perfect to store in a coffee table or a specifically modified shelf or table situation for it. Now this build is gonna require a lot of patience because as you can tell by these high resolution images provided by Lego, there are a lot of elements and building techniques that are fairly repetitive throughout the entire process here, but that's what the Colosseum is. It's unique in its shape because of how it's deteriorated over time, but the overall build of the set is, is pretty expected when you look at the actual Colosseum itself, but what drew my eye was the base on the bottom of the Colosseum. So you're building bricks sideways in a really unique way to get that smoothness. So instead of them putting a bunch of tiles all over the very bottom of the Coliseum base, they decided to build the bricks entirely sideways. So a lot of you fans who love your Lego builds to look sleek and smooth, you're gonna be very happy with how that came out. So with over 9,000 pieces, this set will keep you busy for a very long time. I know that 550 US dollar price tag is a little bit intimidating, but considering that you're not paying the license tax for it being a you know, Disney property or otherwise, this set being the scale that it is and how much value is packed in here, it's gonna keep you busy and be a fun project that you could potentially even split amongst other people as well. Although I haven't been to the Coliseum myself, I can appreciate the level of detail that went into designing this set. And I can't wait to see this thing complete Considering that the Millennium Falcon can take some people up to 40 hours to make, I can't even imagine how long the Coliseum is going to take some people. I would estimate somewhere upwards of 45 hours, which I know I have way too many video games to play, so I won't be getting this myself, but maybe you will once it releases on November 27th. That's Black Friday in the United States. So check out this set for yourself and let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian Saviano here for Beyond the Brick, and I'll see you again next time when LEGO decides to release another incredibly massive set for you to store on your shelf. Bye.